don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. Another fine morning here. We're going to talk more football and it's this time the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Great weekend for Ghana football and a host of Ghanaians were on the score sheet. Some did not play as usual, some too were injured due to suspension, they could not play due to suspension and some were on his substitutes as well. I'm going to take you through them from each of the top five leagues in Europe in each country. So as usual, I'm your host Selas if you are not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get more updates on videos I post onto the channel. So let me just jump right into it. I'll start off with England. And with England, there was no Premier League action. There was only FA Cup action, yes. And a few of the Premier League teams that were still in the FA Cup took part in the competition. I'm looking at the Ghanaian perspective of things. I'll start off with AFC Wimbledon versus Millwall. You know, with AFC Wimbledon, we have Quincy Apia, namesake of the Black Stars coach. Quincy Apia, unfortunately, was not included in the 18 man squad for AFC Wimbledon. They were at home to Millwall, so he was not in the squad. Now, Aston Villa took part in the championship against West Brom, and Albert Aduma was an unused substitute for Aston Villa in that game. And unfortunately for Ad Albert Aduma, he could not make that game. They lost to West Brom 2 0. Aston Villa lost 2 0 to West Brom. To my next game, it has to do with Sheffield United and Reading. We all know for Reading, we have Andy Yado. Andy Yado is a defender and he plays for Reading FC. Unfortunately for Andy Yado, his team lost 4 0 to Sheffield United and Andy Yado played the full 90 minutes. Couldn't help his team stop his team from conceding four goals and they lost. They were battered and bruised by Sheffield United there in the championship. Now to the FA Cup game, Crystal Palace took on. Doncaster Rovers. Yes, Crystal Palace took on Doncaster Rovers and Jordan Ayu played in that game, substituted later in the game. Jeffrey Schlub got a goal for Crystal Palace and boy oh boy, that guy is really making his point to be in the Black Star squad for the AFCON 2019 and the upcoming friendly next month. So Jeffrey Schlub, Jeffrey Schlub was on the score sheet once again and we hope he does well, keep scoring and when he gets called up, please continue this form. We hope he continues this form for Ghana at the AFCON and next month's friendlies. So I moved to Spain and Celta Vigo took on Levante. Yes, you know, no, Emmanuel Boateng has left Levante and he's going all the way to China. Yes, I brought you that news last week and he is not, he was not in the squad for Levante this weekend. He's making moves to move out to China. Now, Rafael Dravena, however, was in the squad. But he was he came in in the 84th minute for Levante. They won that game 4-1 against Celta Vigo. Great, great win for them. And Rafa Jamna was part of it, albeit a bit part role for Levante. Now Real Vallecano took on Atletico Madrid. And we all know for Atletico Madrid, we have Thomas Party. Last week in the Madrid Derby, however, Thomas Party got a red card that ruled him out of the ensued the next fixture, and that was this weekend against Rayo Vallecano. The goal came from Antoine Griezmann, a 1-0 win for Atletico Madrid. And Yano Black has set a record here with this clean sheet. He has conceded 84 goals and 80 clean sheets in 100, I think over 150 La Liga games. That is some, some statistic. It's really some statistic. Yano Black there for Atletico Madrid. Now I move to my next game. It has to do with FC Barcelona versus Real Valladolid. We all know this week, Barcelona will take part in the Champions League, so they play their game on Saturday night, and boy, oh boy, was I excited. Kevin Prince Boateng made his La Liga debut. He made his La Liga debut for FC Barcelona, and unfortunately, but unfortunately for Kevin Prince Boateng, he could not shine. He was replaced in the 60th minute by Luis Suarez. Messi got the important goal for FC Barcelona against Valladolid to give them three points and then put them in pole position to win the title for them. Now, this was Kevin Prince Barton's 400th club appearance and he was excited about it. He tweeted about it and I think he was really excited with that. Now, Deportivo Alaves took on Real Betis. Deportivo Alaves took on Real Betis and Wakasu played 58 minutes in a 1-1 draw with Real Betis. Now, Albert Sete Ballon Pierre took on Real Zaragoza. And we all know 
our player Sule Ali Montari. He's 36 years old now and he has taken two of the center ballon d'Or and the, the second division of the Spanish um, football and they got a point in that game. But fortunately, um, Sule Ali Montari could not make that squad. He was not included in that squad for Abesete Ballon Pierre. They got one point from that game as well. Now move to Italy and yes, I'll start off with Empoli versus Sassuolo. We all know for Empoli, we have Alfred Duncan and Efrey Aqua. Now, Alfred Duncan was substituted at the start of the second half by Free Aqua got a goal, which is his second of the season. He was really excited about that. And we'll have a look at that goal as well. So, this is a Free Aqua's goal for Empoli against Sassuolo. Yes, so this is the goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal there by Free Aqua. He doesn't score that much. This being his second goal for the season, should tell you. The story then the free aqua thankfully he got to go for ghana now inter milan versus sampdoria that was the, that's the next thing we'll be looking at inter milan took on sampdoria at home at the san Siro, and on the bench was uh, kojua samoa after coming on yes last week after being out for so long as a substitute he wasn't used for a while now he was back in the team but he was an unused substitute in the 2-1 win over sampdoria we all know earlier this week their captain Ikadi was stripped of the captaincy and Handanovic was given the captaincy. Does that mean Ikadi is also going out? What's the future for Kojo Asamoa? He's really being unused, mostly of late. And I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll find out and I'll let you know. Now, Juventus took on Frozen on, on Friday because they'll be playing the Champions League this week. So they had an early match on Friday. Chipsa, who is a Ghanaian, played full 90 minutes. But unfortunately, Ronaldo and Dybala scattered and thrashed frozen on three nil on the night so i was in action for frozen on on that occasion they are still in the relegation area and we hope they are able to pull out of it now the news took on kiev verona and nicolas of who played 82 minutes in that 1-0 win over Kievo Verona in the Nice versus Kievo Verona. Now I move to France and we have Monaco took on Nantes. Now we all know Majid Waris plays for Nantes and Majid Waris plays for Nantes and he, unfortunately for him his team lost 1-0. This is also the club of deceased footballer Emiliano Sala and he was a teammate of Majid Waris as well. Now Baba Rahman we all know Papa Raman was in search of a club. He finally got a club in the French league, it's Rams, and he made his debut over the weekend in a 2 0 win over Rams. And Papa Raman played the full 90 minutes. This was his debut, and I'm happy he's back in football, back in action. For ahead of the AFCON 2019. Next month, there will be the final AFCON qualifier in a friendly. I hope he can make that squad, and let's see how far he has come with his recovery now so show played lens and artisigi of social go he's a ghanian young footballer and he was in goal for them but unfortunately they lost one nil on that occasion so we'll move on to germany and kasim nuhu kasim nuhu played 90 minutes as hoffenheim beat hanover three nil kasim nuhu is a defender he has played for ghana in the latest friendly that was back in november and he was in this team that beat Hanover 96 3 0. So I moved to my next um, next game and it's Paderborn 3 FC Korn 2. Now this is the second division of the Bundesliga and Bernard Tekbete scored his ninth goal of the season for Paderborn. In their 3-2 win over Korn, we'll have a look at Bernard Tekbete's goal for Paderborn FC. Yes, yeah, so this is Bernard Tekbete's goal for Paderborn FC. Wow, wow, nice goal, nice goal there by him. We hope he keeps up this form and does say when he comes back to the Black Stars next month and subsequently in the AFCON. So, my next game and it's Genk versus Club Rouge. Genk, Joseph Edu is with Genk. Unfortunately for him, they lost 3 1 to Club Rouge. Now to Bulgaria and Edwin Jesse, CSK Sofia, he played 67 minutes. They lost 2 0 to Sharon Moore. They lost 2 0 to Sharon Moore, and Edwin Jesse was in action for them. Samuel Linkum, we all know another player who was banned by FIFA and was looking to make his first ever competitive debut. He was thrashed on his competitive, ever competitive debut for Donald Rose in Bulgaria. They lost 3 0 to Etar in that game as well. To my final country, and that is Turkey, Fenerbahce. 
earned a, a, a point in Agua Konya score, and Ayu was a 63rd minute substitute in that game for Fenerbahce and Fenerbahce. They are actually out of the relegation zone, but a little more wins and they will be much more safer than they are currently. Now, Kayseri Sport took on Guadalupe and Bernard Mensa was with a goal. Asamajan was really excited from Bernard Mensa after he had scored that goal. We hope Bernard Mensa continues his goal scoring form. So that has been it for today, guys. I'll be looking at performances of Ghanaian players abroad. I think they did really well this weekend and they should continue this grind, find great form. Who was your best performer for the weekend? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one.